ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder and is often described as a mental disorder. Children with ADHD have trouble paying attention, are hyperactive, and often have difficulty controlling their behavior. It is estimated that it affects around 5% of all children aged 3 to 17 globally and that for every girl, around three boys are diagnosed with it. To understand how it affects children in school, let's look at the story of Leo, a 12-year-old boy who goes to school with the best intentions but struggles hard to succeed. Attention deficit is his biggest problem. Leo gets distracted so easily. It happens even when he tries his hardest to focus. He often realizes that he has suddenly zoned out and has spent the last 15 minutes thinking about something entirely different. Just the tiniest thing can get him off track. To him, it feels like his brain is broken. He is also forgetful. Books and homework are often left at home, and if he doesn't miss an assignment, he often loses it somewhere or forgets to turn it in. His grades are terrible, and some teachers are beginning to think that he is a lost case. Then there is his hyperactivity. When they have to do group work, he is restless and has trouble staying focused. Staying calm and listening while others speak can completely drain him, making any normal conversation a serious challenge. To him, it feels like there is no capacity left in his brain to deal with all the input that needs to be processed. He then feels angry about not being able to follow along. To help cope with his hyperactivity, he likes to keep his hands busy all the time. Last, there is his impulsive behavior. He often cannot refrain from saying things that come to his mind. Sometimes, he tries hard to control himself, but then just blurts out and interrupts others. His classmates find this annoying. He later regrets his hot-headed behavior, but he knows that unfortunately, he will do it again and again. It seems to him that he can't learn from his mistakes. Teachers get frustrated trying to get him to behave. Others become impatient, give up, or distance themselves. After he is diagnosed and receives support through concrete steps, things begin to get better. At school, he is seated next to a supportive student in the front row of the class. He gets a notebook that lists all his assignments to help him remember. And to make homework easier to track, he receives it for all subjects only once a week. To relax, he is allowed to use fidget objects during lessons and take short breaks when needed. After school, he practices speaking and listening routines with a specialist. Additionally, his dad bikes with him to school every morning, and in the afternoon, he is allowed to play the ball as long as he wishes. For severe cases of ADHD, prescription drugs are often prescribed. Before that happens, children like Leo need to undergo a professional age-appropriate diagnosis by a child psychologist who will try to look below the surface. ADHD could just be the tip of the iceberg. The root cause might be drama at home, bullying at school, poor sleep, or the wrong diet. Sir Ken Robinson told the story of Jillian Lynn, an eight-year-old girl that was said to have a learning disorder. She could not concentrate and never sat still. When she was brought to the specialist who didn't subscribe any therapy, but instead played music on the radio, the girl started dancing. He then told her mother, Jillian isn't sick. She's a dancer. Take her to a dance school. Jillian Lin later became a famous dancer and then responsible for some of the most successful musicals in Broadway history. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you are hyperactive or if you were diagnosed with ADHD, please tell us about your coping mechanisms so we can learn more about it from reading your insights. If you want to support our channel enabling us to make more such videos, visit patreon.com sprouts and check out what we do.